Hi guys, so I'm very excited to be going over this week's new releases, which is the book collection, plus some other basics collection things um, that I've been meaning to do for a while or that have been requested. So we'll go over those first, just to get them out of the way. So this first item was a request. This is um, day scripts, which are basically an alternative to date covers if you just want to um, white out whatever day is written at the top of the spread and then use these instead if you want like a fold option. So we have two versions of these. This is the cursive version. There are three different cursive fonts on here. They're all the same size. And then we also have a full set of these small date dots on here as well. I'll bring out the, um, let's see, I think I have a blank spread on the other side here so you can kind of see the sizing so they are kind of around the same size as the ones that are very commonly printed on the page so it still gives you plenty of room to use deco and other things and then the other option is the non-cursive page which has two different fonts we have um a serif font and then a sans serif font and then there's two sizes of each and I'll demonstrate how those look. The first size is fairly small and then the next one is a little bigger. And then this third column has actually been resized so the one you'll see on the website is a little bit bigger than this current version and then there's the bigger size of that. So these are an example in light green, and then I also did pink hollow, and then red glitter, just for fun. So that is the day scripts. And then next I went and did a whole bunch more line borders. This is basically every type of line border that was not originally offered in the shop. So I do have two sizes of third boxes already, as well as half boxes and square boxes that are already in the shop, so I just wanted to fill in everything that wasn't already there. Um, primarily starting off with quarter box line borders. The majority of these sheets that you will see are size for Scroll Prints Cos Nose format, however they may fit other shop formats. No guarantees though. If you want me to test them with any um, kit formats that you see me hauling or anything that you know that I have, I can definitely test that for you and send you a photo. But um, since I know that SVC is like probably one of the most common kit formats, I figured I would just go ahead for that. Um, and then I do have one other third box size for Glam Planner kits as well. I think the half boxes work for both SPC and Glam Planner. But yeah, so we have the quarter box line borders. Um, and then I also just like went a little bit extra and decided to make movie marquee borders for her newest format movie marquees as well. So we have the typical line borders that go around the like the glitter stroke area and then these are for the um like the white dots that go around the edge and then the stars so you, i think you can theoretically use both at the same time but this is meant to be more like one or the other just for variety's sake so if you have like three movie marquees in one spread which w would totally be feasible for me because i like watching movies a ton um that i would want to like switch them up and use maybe two of these and one of these or some other variation, so I didn't want to have both of these available. And then we do have, of course, the little thing borders as well. These are sized for both of the sizes of her little things. I think this one might be like a half a millimeter too tall or something. You can always trim it to whatever size you need, but I think this was like as close as I could get with the sizing in Photoshop. Now, this is for the smaller size little thing, and then this is for the slightly larger size of little thing. So this just goes on the glitter stroke. Um, and then that is for the newest format. Um, and then this sheet is for older format SPC kits that had the appointment labels or any other kits that still have them that like this angle works with. You would have to test that out for yourself, but I have a ton of old format SPC kits. So it just made sense for me to have these for myself. Um, and they did as well come in two sizes. So, um, I have this size, which I think was, um, on the label samplers. I think there might have been a couple in the kits as well. Um, and then this is for the bigger ones. 
So there are those sheets. And then we do have um, line border samplers in a few varieties because I figured if you wanted to like grab just one for a spread that you're using, maybe you don't, maybe you're just using rainbow foil and you don't need like rainbow um, for every single one of these sheets because you don't use that foil that often. Um, and if you're just using it for one spread, you can grab a sampler sheet and just have that, or you can grab two of them and have some variety um, to just kind of keep costs low. So we do have the just plain line border sampler. So we have two half boxes, two thirds. I believe these are the SPC thirds, um, two quarter boxes, three squares, um, one of each of the movie marquee overlays. And then we have two of these simple line borders. These are the thin line borders uh, or line dividers rather that I like to use as line borders, quote unquote, for the fancy labels. Um, and then I've also managed to fit in some of the little thing um, line borders as well. So we have eight of the tall and then six of the shorter. Um, and you can, of course, cut the tall ones shorter if you need more of the shorter ones. So there is the simple plain line border overlay sampler and then we have a dotted version so we just have a tiny dot pattern basically th the same size that you would need for everything including for the um the little thing overlays and the dividers and then we have a dashed version as well these are just for more variety if you want to switch things up because i use so many of these like plain ones per spread that i just needed more variety than that so i'm just going to be alternating with these as well just for like interest and then oh by the way the move marquee on the side is unchanged for all of them and then i've been really wanting to do this for a while um so this is just like confetti line border overlays so like you know there's full box overlays that have this like border plus confetti pattern um well now i wanted to do it for the boxes as well so we do have um two varieties we have the uh four sides confetti and then just the opposing corners confetti so we have the half and then the third the quarter and then um for the square boxes we have one four sides and then we have um the confetti on these two corners and then the opposite two corners as well and then for the um movie marquee one i did decide to put the confetti on the inside because on the outside it would just mess with like the design on the outside of it so i wanted a little bit of confetti on the inside um and then i also just did a random like confetti pattern for the other overlays on the sheet as well so yeah those are the four new line border samplers that are available in the basics collection now for the underlays so i did have a ton that were requested so this is basically everything lately that has been requested um, and just some like older stuff that I had room to print as well. Um, so first we have the animal prints underlays, which are on their own separate listing. Um, aside from the underlays, these are called the animal print underlays um, just because I had enough to like merit their own separate listing. So um, this one was the one that was a request, which was the snakeskin underlays, which looks so cool. I love the snakeskin pattern owning a snake I do deal with snake skin a lot in person whenever she sheds so it's kind of cool to see it like as a pattern I think it looks really neat um and these would go well with a lot of Harry Potter kits or any other kits that have snakes in them I have an old Egypt kit with a snake in it too that would look cool with that although there's another underlay I'm about to show you that would also look good with an Egypt kit um and then let's see so these three are, have already been introduced in some way shape or form in the shop um these leopard print underlays were the main underlays of the zoo foil bundle exclusive, but they have not been offered on their own until now. So here are the leopard print underlays, and then the zebra underlays were the alternate underlays for that FBE. So now they are available on their own. And then the giraffe pattern was used as one of the header options for the zoo bundle, but now they are available as underlays. So there's those three. And then lastly, I had another animal pattern that I wanted to use, which is the tiger stripes underlay because tigers are my favorite animal. You may think that snakes and sharks are based on everything else I've talked about on my channel, but tigers are in fact my number one favorite animal. So here's some tiger stripes. So those are the animal print underlays. And then we have some of the later 
newest requests, which are these outdoorsy ones. I've definitely been wanting to do a kind of outdoorsy FBE, like maybe nature or hiking, camping themed, something like that. So that may come in the future and I may reuse these underlays at that point. But in the meantime, these should hopefully hold you over. I really love these mountain underlays. I had to like be very creative about how I was layering these mountains and then like leaving space to do like little forests in between there. So that was kind of fun to arrange. So yeah, these are going to be great for a lot of outdoorsy kits. A lot of kits have mountains. Um, and then also requested were animal tracks, underlays. So here is just like a random assortment of various animal tracks intersecting. So fun. I don't know what a lot of these animal tracks are, but I'm pretty sure there's like a dog and that may be like a deer, like little hoof marks. That one could be the bear. Actually, I think that looks more like a deer. That could be a pig maybe. And that's definitely a bird. I don't know. Pretty cool though. Let me know if you can identify any that I'm missing. But yeah, those are the outdoorsy ones. And then I had a request for some, um, some patterns from like different countries. So I picked out this African pattern for some African underlays. These would be cool for like maybe African safari kits or um, Black Panther kits. Very cool tribal pattern. And then um, Aztec underlays. I'm not sure what kit these could be used for, but I'm curious to see when the requester uses these. But yeah, fun little Aztec pattern. And then um, Greek underlays, which obviously there has been Greek art that has come out. I actually have a Greek kit, I think, that was very like conflicted about buying because like Greece was when I realized I was allergic to horses and donkeys and that was like very traumatic for me <laughs> but I do love Greece I mean I've been to enough Grecian cities to like have my fill of it so I don't need to go back but um what am I gonna use that kit though is the thing I don't know we'll see but anyway we have these Greek key pattern underlays for those type of kits and then some more random underlays that were requested. Um, these ones are slime underlays that were requested to go with the Ghostbusters kit that just came out from SPC. There have been also previous Ghostbusters kits released in the past. I have an older one as well. I think for paper, paper candy art. I think I used it though. I think I have one from somebody else. But yeah, these could go with that. Um, but this slime like splash also looks a lot like the Nickelodeon like old logo so it could be used for Nickelodeon kits as well um and then these workout underlays were also requested there have been a few fitness kits that have come out over the years so these would be great for that I think the I think this was like slightly reformatted to be a little bit um, thicker lines so that's what you will see in the shop but this is kind of the general idea because it's like a very hand-drawn pattern so it's kind of hard to foil but I think it looks a lot better with the thicker lines um, and then these are just two older ones that like there were a lot that I did all at once that I never really printed to show anybody so I just had space to include these other two with everything else that I was printing so um, one of the ones that is available in shop is the Ankh underlays this was the other one that I think would be great with Egyptian kits and then um, we have the chain link underlays, which is just another another kind of generic pattern, which I don't know necessarily when you would want to use it, but it's just kind of a fun basic pattern. If you don't want to use like confetti, you can just grab these as just a kind of anytime pattern. So that is all of the um, basics collection additions for this week. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the books collection for this week's collection release. This is foiled in gold, kind of to match the mock spread, but I really just like this color a lot for a book's theme. And the idea for this kind of came about from the Squirrel Prince Co. February mystery for this year. Once I saw that, I knew I had to finally do a books foil set because I do own so many books kits and... It was only a matter of time, really, so that was kind of like the perfect excuse. So let's go ahead and get into it. Starting off with the large underlays. These are the busiest underlay pattern. If you have really busy days and use lots of boxes and labels, these are the perfect underlays to grab since you'll be able to see some of the icons shining through behind it. So we have some various books and bookmarks and glasses in here. 
And then we have the medium pattern, which is the same icons, but in a sparser confetti pattern. So it's not as overwhelming to the eye. And then for the two fun ones, of course, we have a bookshelves underlay. Could not help but do a bookshelf theme. Love that. I do love my bookshelves. And then we have just some larger hand-drawn books. We have an open book and then a book stack. So those are the underlays. And then we have the full box uh, confetti overlays, starting with the full ones. So we have one book, two book, one book, stack of books, um, and then the bookmark and the glasses. And if you look in these corners, you can see that this book has an A on it, and this book has a C, stylized. And obviously that is a reference to my shop name, Alicia Craft. I just had to include a little Alicia Craft self-insert there because I thought it was hilarious. And the, bu the books looked a little bit too plain, and I needed to put something there, so it only made sense. So we have the full, and then we have the medium four corner, which is just stuff in the corners, not along the sides. And then we have medium three corner. And then at medium two corner. And then we have the same in the small confetti size, which is just a bit smaller to take up less space on the full box. So that's the four corner, three corner, and two corner. And then, of course, we do have the big box overlays. This is the confetti big box overlay. It has some flags along the bottom as well. And then we have the border one, which includes the hand-drawn style books. And the book stack has little glasses on it. Very cute. And then we have the tall box overlays, which have the two most common sizes of tall box on them. So whether you're using an SPC kit or a glam planner kit or crest press, basically anything else, this sheet will be the sheet for you. And then we have the double box scenes. We have the um the confetti double box scene at the top, and then the more fun one at the bottom is like a little desk scene where we have a reading lamp and an open book, and then the stack of books over here with the glasses on top and then coffee next to it. Super cute. I was going to do a little banner at the top because I've done banners before, um, and I was going to make it say like, I love books or something like that, but I decided that was like not subtle enough, like it would have taken up way too much space, so I wanted to keep it a little bit smaller. And then we have um, a few versions of the full box overlay sheet. Um, oh, also a disclaimer, any imperfections or black dots that you see on any of these sheets are only for these demo sheets and will not appear on any final products that are sent out. So for this sheet, um, we have two versions of border overlays with books on them. And then we have um, just the like a bookcase stack at the bottom. Well, that's not really stack. This is the stack of books here in this corner. So there are some versions, and then I am doing for the first time floating full box overlays, which are these larger designs that are meant to be used as full box overlays. So um, they are like quite big, um, but they can be placed theoretically like anywhere in the full box. So like this could be placed towards the middle or towards the bottom. Some of them like this are big enough that they're basically gonna have to go right in the middle, but you can you have some like some wiggle room to arrange them. So I thought this was really fun because I've done quoting, uh, not quoting, floating quotes before. So um, when I saw all these images, I was like, I definitely have to turn these into floating full box overlays. So that is what these are for. And then um, quotes, as usual, I went crazy with the quotes. There were just so many to choose from. So this is the quote box sheet. We have two with the um, full-size confetti around them. This one says, between the pages of a book is a lovely place to be. I was just trying to figure out where the words were because like, it never occurred to me that like they would be in such a hard order to read, but they are. <laughs> um, and then this one says books because reality is overrated. And then we have, the, um, we have the one smaller one and then the bigger one. This one says drink tea, read books, be happy. And this one says book lover. And then, of course, we have the floating quotes. We have two sheets of these in various sizes. This one is number two, so let's start with number one, which says, the book is always better. Reading is magical. I read past my bedtime. Fiction addiction. Books and coffee. Book lover. Bookmarks are for quitters. <laughs> Books are my love language. 
and then the second sheet has readers going to read so many books so little time there's no such thing as too many books reading is dreaming with your eyes open my weekend is all books and then the library is calling and i must go <laughs> i feel like hermione would say that um and then this is very exciting we have custom book overlays i'm not too sure how well these are going to work because you are going to be basically very limited in the number of characters you can choose for your book titles here. So we're going to see how well it can work. So these two I kind of filled in with my own examples and these two I left blank. But essentially for this top left one, um, it is kind of like a custom quote box, but like it has the actual book in there. Um, so you can put like whatever quote you want up here and I can adjust it and make like the book smaller if you choose a longer quote, like whatever looks better. This one has like the most leeway. Um, and then the second option is the, um, the bookshelf and I can fill in some of these book spines with book titles, but again, they have to be like fairly short titles, um, in order to fit. So I just chose one of my favorite book series here, which is the Graceling series. It has actually five books now. I only put four in here because um, I wanted to keep like the alternating pattern. So every other book is like a custom one. But like you can kind of see the character limits here. I think Winter Keep is um, the longest title, perhaps. But we have Graceling, Fire, Bitter Blue, and then Winter Keep in order. If you are curious, the last one is Sea Sparrow. I've actually only read the first three, but it is one of my favorite book series. Um, so I can theoretically use more of the book spines, but not all of the books are going to be able to have like longer titles. So again, you kind of have to be very careful when choosing your titles. Um, and then same for this third box, which is the book stack with the titles on them. I do have room to do a couple longer titles, but the rest have to be fairly short. And as you can see, for some of them, I just chose to do series names, like the top three, um, instead of the individual like book title name. But I, I just chose some of my favorite books here. We have Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Redwall, Hobbit, Alice in Wonderland, Gatsby, and then The Fault in Our Stars. See, I had to like abbreviate a little bit too. Just so you guys kind of get, get the memo, get a general idea of how to fit them. And then this last one, it's a fairly big overlay, but I wanted to have more room to write in a full book title. And then the author, if there's room for that as well. So we'll see how this works. I'm very excited about it, but it does have a lot more limitations than the custom quotes. Basically, for the custom sheet, try to keep your titles short, read the full listing description for pointers on how to choose, and DM me if you have, like, any questions about if a certain title will fit where you want it to, and I can let you know before you place the order. So, next in the collection, we have the smaller sheets, starting with the whole reinforcers. As usual, there's 18 per sheet. And then the headers. I really had some fun with these. I love this like open book option header. This is kind of something different than what I usually do. I don't usually do just like one design for the whole header, but like this open book just like screamed that it needed to be a header all on its own. So it is with little magical sparkles around it. So fun. And then of course I had to do the bookshelf headers and then the confetti headers with an alternate version of the bookmark. So there's that, and then we have the deco sheet, which has some larger deco, more medium deco, and then smaller, small confetti, teeny tiny confetti, and then just teeny tiny. So many versions of that. And then we have the corners. So we have two rows of medium corners, one row of small, three rows of teeny tiny confetti corners, and then two rows of the photo corners. And then we have the dividers. So we have more of these shelves and then the open book. And then two rows of the bookmarks and then the simple line dividers. Okay, next we have the dangles. There's the longer ones, the medium ones, and then the teeny tiny ones on here. There's some mini swoops with a little bookmark in there, and then the garlands. And then we have the mini swoops. These are great for corners of full boxes or half boxes, even some third boxes they will fit in. 
and then we have the swoops which typically go across the whole width of the full box 1.5 inches so we have four versions one two three and four and then there is some room for some miniature swoops on the sheet as well and then we can get into the 15 millimeters so we have the classic hand-drawn book washi and then we have some floral books super pretty and then naturally we had to do the bookshelves and then here's the confetti and then the 10 and 7 millimeter are the open book and the confetti And then for the 32 millimeter, I just like went absolutely insane and did this. This is kind of a combination of like three different collections. Um, we have the bookshelves, but then we also have floral, um, well, just like a field of flowers that is from the upcoming floral collection. Um, and then I brought in some of the fairies from the fairy collection as well. And then some cats because I don't know, it's a fun kind of magical bookshelf aesthetic got some kitties chasing after the fairies and then there's a couple open books in front of them as well and then this one can be a full box overlay so yeah this is like very insane a lot going on here but I love it it's really fun and then that is it for the main collection and now I'll go over the bundle real quick so as usual, this bundle is available in two sizes, mini, which does not have underlays, and ultimate, which you can choose whatever underlays you want from the collection. There is an optional add-on page for both sizes, and these bundles are available unfoiled or in any of the 46 foil colors available in shop, um, as well as printable options. You can choose to get the printable with just the large underlays, or for a couple of dollars more, get all of the underlays available in the collection. So the first page has the full box overlays. We have two full confetti two medium four corner two medium two corner and then the confetti double box scene and then we have two underlay pages and then the next page has one of each of the headers all the deco and then two of the quote box sheet and then we have the bottom washi i chose the shelves and then the confetti there's also date dots, some dividers, mini deco, we can banner on that page as well. And then the add-on sheet has two medium three corner, two from the full box sheets, um, and then one floating quotes. Whatever um, I put in this is just like random for each bundle, basically. It's just whatever I have room for. Um, and then you do get a full set of whole reinforcers and then all the corners as well for the add-on sheet. So yeah, that is the books collection. There's so many books kits. It would take me forever to go through my collection and try to pick out all the ones that I have that it could go with. But two of the most recent ones um, that have come out or that I've hauled would be the February Mystery from SPC. This would be perfect with that. And then um, this kit from Learner Designs called Beautiful Tales would also go really well with. But there's so many books kits out there, honestly. Um, so the mock spread I'm going to be using is this kit from Creating & Co. It was a printable kit. I don't remember what it was called, but I just had it in my mock spread kit collection. So I'm going to be laying down all the stickers on the spread, and then we'll come back and show you where everything is and how it looks all laid out. So let's get into it. <laughs>
Okay guys, so this is the finished mock spread. I really, really, really love how this turned out. I tried to use as many different um, overlays as I could for the fall boxes because I did have quite a lot of options for this particular collection. So I tried to give you guys a full view of all of them. Um, so of course we do have the um, confetti full, full overlays and then we have some medium four corners scattered around there's another full one medium four corner here we have one of the floating ones obviously you wouldn't really use it over a box that's this busy um you would try to find some more like blank space um but that's just the one i had room to put it over we have the double box scene confetti right here and i added some extra dangles there if you use two of the corner ones back to back like this in a double box scene it looks so cool it looks like it's like meant to be that way so it's another little trick that i love to do i also love to do it with these ones that dangle right there um, and then we have one of the floating quotes from the add-on sheet. Um, and then here's the custom one. I just used it because it does have some of my favorite books on it. So that is one that I would actually use. And let's see, that's all the ones on that page. And then here we have the border from the add-on sheet, which I forgot to mention. The book is on the opposite side of the page as on the individual, like, full box overlay sheet. Um, so there's, like, some variety there if you want to get um, the full box sheet in addition to the bundle. You won't get any repeats in terms of that. Um, however, I think you, this one is the same. So there's that overlay as well from that sheet. And let's see, I have another one from the custom sheet below with some of my favorite books on there. And then lastly, I think we have, um, this one, which I didn't really have enough space to use it as a full box overlay, but I did have this like huge chunk of, um, washi in the sidebar, so I just put this one there, but it is the same as, well, not the same, it's the one on the 32 millimeter sheet, which, look at that 32 millimeter, I am so obsessed with this, it is so much prettier than I could ever have imagined, it is, like, busy, but, like, over, um, washi like that, like, it's just plain patterned, it's, like, gorgeous, like, honestly, love it, it's perfect, could not be more perfect, and also, I really friggin' love these shelves underlays like that's all I'm going to be using for like all of my book kits um so yeah let's just dive on into the underlays as usual I left some covered and uncovered so you can see what it looks like both ways so there's the uncovered books and the well the shelves and the covered shelves there is the uncovered large and then the covered large covered books and uncovered books and then uncovered medium and covered medium kind of covered I only ever do this like half box design in the mock spreads because I never have like space to do them in my actual spreads but I kind of wish I did because that really makes the underlays behind them shine so there's a couple of those and then let's see so yeah I use the um, swoops pretty liber liberally around so they're just like everywhere I used each one. Basically, I used the entire sheet. Um, and what else? The dividers. We have the open books dividers there and there. They are so solid. You can just stick them anywhere because they're so short. I love that. And then we have the um, books, which are the same as the headers. So just kind of be aware of where you're using those. Um, and then let's see. There is the um, like a little confetti divider, and then we have one of the simple line dividers, the other one, and then the third one is here. The glasses one is right here. I think that's all of the dividers, and then the header overlays, of course. Um, we have the shelves, and then the open book, which does look so good. Like, oh my god, like, it just, it just frames the box, I feel like, so I love that. And then the confetti, and then what else? There's deco bits everywhere. You can see I just kind of scattered them around. I like how in this collection you get some that are just like solid filled in images and then like the more hand-drawn look. I love the contrast, but of course you can always choose to pull in the pieces that you want and leave the others that you don't. If you don't want that hand-drawn look anywhere in it, you can just leave those out. But I like how like you can get the option for this particular collection. And let's see, I think that is basically everything. Yep, there's little tiny deco bits up there as well. I didn't um, use any of the flag overlays because I, those sheets were like perfect and I didn't want to dig into them just for the mock spread. But you guys kind of get the idea of how they look. And yeah, I think that's it. 
So that is it for the books collection. So excited. Um, this is a collection I'm going to be digging into many times because I have so many book kits. So I'm glad that I gave so many options for this set, especially with the custom overlays. Um, however, I feel like I'm going to have to add to it because um, I'm going to be ending up using like the same stuff over and over again. Same with like the Harry Potter stuff. So I need, I need more variations for some of the things I feel like. So there may be more full box overlays coming in the future. Always happy to have requests and suggestions for what y'all want to see. As usual, feel free to utilize the custom quote overlays because I know I did custom overlays for this collection um, that are specifically book themed, but like if you want like more book quotes or book title quotes or whatever, please utilize that listing because there's, I think, 14 or 15, I think there's 15 different options for like how you can um, stylize or arrange the quote and several of those options have um choices on where you want the quote in the actual box like whether top or bottom left or right side this corner that corner um there's like so many different options so if you want more quotes in your spread please use that for any book quotes that you want to use or just anything else like you can use it for any pop culture kits that have come out that i haven't done a specific quote sheet for or like you want something else that isn't part of that collection um, if you're having an event coming up and you want, you know, like a, a concert or something and you want to use like song quotes, use that listing for that. Um, also, if you want to c celebrate um, birthday, anniversary, anything like that, you can get it customized. I've had people use it for like weddings and birthdays and stuff. Um, yeah, you can put numbers in there too. So you can write famous or important dates or whatever. Um, there's just so many options for that. Movie quotes, if you want, if you're using a movie kit. Um, and you want movie quotes for that, please use that listing. Don't forget about it. Um, it is definitely there, and I'm happy to make custom quotes for you guys. Anything that you want in there that can fit, I will make it work for you. And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be wonderful. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.